what's up guys tech mentor here for you guys today today i want to unbox this phone right here this is a xiaomi redmi 7 um i call this phone a budget king you know because from the price to the specification and the reputation of the company you know i think this phone is gonna be good if you're considering a budget phone a budget device but i'm not sure yet on paper we already know what it is but in reality i don't know what it's gonna be like so that's why i want to box the phone and let's get the first impression you know this is a xiaomi phone like i said this is my first time of reviewing their phone i've never done it before because i believe they are way too overpriced and one thing that confuses me a lot is because they have so many phones in the same brand name category like this phone has a redmi note 7 redmi note you know too much too much but anyway let's see what's in the box so let's open the box up all right this is how the phone is packaged and then this i believe is the paperwork and some manuals and instruction maybe there's a case i don't know there's nothing that says supply case you know i've never bought a phone before but i can see there might be a jelly case inside this place you know i'm not sure yeah let's see yeah there is one you know it's not a jelly case it's just a black cover to cover your phone yeah it is a jelly case i made a mistake yeah this is black jelly case yeah so there is one all right all right so let's take out the phone yeah can see that's fingerprint sensor and um, this is all the specification in front you know 6.2 inches HD display HD plus display Snapdragon 632 8 core CPU 4000 million battery and then the dual camera at the back is 12 megapixel plus 2 megapixel why the front facing camera which I believe this is the front facing camera is 8 megapixel a design by Xiaomi that's written by Xiaomi at the back you got your, your camera set up you got your flash and then you got your fingerprint sensor at the back so that's just it for the front I don't know what else is in the box let's see um, practically that's everything in the box this is the charging cable this is not USB type C but a micro USB well I don't know if this phone supports fast charge I'm not sure yet I've never read anything that says fast charge I'm here to test this out so I'm gonna feed you guys back if this supports fast charging um practically that's everything we have on the phone everything everything so what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna run the setup then come back to you guys all right guys um i've set up the device i installed a few applications to test the phone um one thing i do admit the phone is very fast responding quickly but this phone will gather a lot of dust so you better just make sure you use the jelly case that come with the phone if you're buying this device this is plastic if you're wondering what is at the back this is definitely plastic the fuse the sound is plastic but it doesn't matter you know it's a budget device anyway so what are you gonna do with that and then i think it might be a budget king like i suggested earlier judging by the specification so let's quickly go into the details you know at the bottom here we got two speakers but i'm not sure and i believe it's not two speakers i believe one of them is a speaker and one of them is a dummy your regular micro usb charging port at the side you have your sim tray you know and to my surprise this is the, i'm not saying there's no other devices that do this but this is my first device that support two sim card and one memory card at the same time most i've seen is hybrid is it i use a memory card or one sim card or use two sim card and you never get a space for a memory card but this one has two sim card and one more memory card slot you know which is very good you know for people who like to do that it doesn't bother me i only use one memory card and um, one sim card anyway uh, on this side here you got your power button you know and then your volume rocker at the top you got your microphone your 3.5 mm audio port and then your i think this is ir blaster it's very small i'm not sure if you can pick it it's very small you know your regular 8 megapixel selfie camera and then at the back here what do you have you have 12 megapixel camera plus 2 megapixel camera while 
you have your fingerprint reader at the back too you know so that's pretty much everything about the phone i'm just gonna jump straight into setting now let's see what we get in the setting all right guys um this is the setting of um, the phone xiaomi redmi 7 um there's one thing i found very interesting you know i'm just gonna walk you through the setting very quickly but i found one thing very interesting which is um i think it's called second space you know what this means is um this phone can double up as another device you know so it's like uh, you have a phone for the public and you have a phone to yourself for private like what i mean for the public is anybody can take your phone and do whatever they want on the phone as long as you don't put your private stuff in the public place you know that's the best way i can explain it then you're good to go so here you got you got the about the phone which is a xiaomi name ui point 10.2 and it's running android 9.0 you know based on MUI 10.2 you got system app i've got now application waiting to be updated security status um sim card and network you know i told you this phone can use three two sim card not three two sim card and one memory card and um as for data usage you know this is based on usage how much data you're using um display the display is hd plus so i don't know what's okay the reading mode display like you want to put it on with double tap to wake the phone auto rotate it's like you double tap the screen it's gonna wake up the phone you know that's that's very good i like that the lock screen and password notification and status bar show icon for incoming yo look at that so you got all your customization on this device i like this you know they give you more choice to make the phone your own you know this is what Android is all about, you know, you customize the phone to your own taste. And this second space, that's what I was saying earlier. That with this second space, if, it, if I tap on second space, it's gonna take me to another. Um, it's like the phone is partitioned. Let me put it this way: it's like your computer is partitioned into two. You know, like um, you have your Windows, and then you have a Windows for guests. So that's how, that's how I say, like you have your own Windows space for your own self and you have another one for the guests so this is good i like it whatever you do here does not go there and uh, whatever you do in your second space does not go there i'm gonna go to the second space and i'm gonna show you how to switch to second space so i'm gonna go there now so let me jump straight into second space i've got the icon here on the screen so if i say second space you can see saying switching now it's switched you can see just like that on that four five seconds it's done it's not up to four seconds just three seconds is done that's it and whatever you do here does not affect whatever you do on the other hand and with one tap you can switch here whatever you have they, they don't share the same fire manager you can see i have to allow it they don't share everything so this is good this i found very interesting about this phone being a budget device i stumbled upon this when i was checking the setting now that's the why i got i got make sure i show you guys this because i don't know you know i don't even know it might be there it might have been xiaomi phone for a very long time you know this is my first time of trying xiaomi out like i said earlier so you would not expect me to know this you know it's similar to what we have on samsung secure folder you know samsung calls their own secure folder so secure folder is not where you do all sort of like um, browsing all sort of things you know it's different secure folder is like um you just keep your applications there and you keep your pictures video there your private stuff there you know but this one is a total different entirely you know it's very different your browsing history does not come here your calls history does not come here everything you know everything is privacy here this is the private room for yourself only that i like about this phone so i'm going to switch back because i'm not about second space here i'm going to the public space so with a tap just put your fingerprint now it's going to switch back to where i was coming from see that so that's it it's going to switch back straight away so guys um let me quickly test the um speed test of this device let's see what we're going to be getting you know let's see what we're going to be getting for speed test to be honest um i'm very impressed with this device pretty much impressed you know I like the phone you know this device is impressive okay not too bad to be honest for a budget phone the speed test shows 35 
mega p per seconds but i should be going up to 100 you know like 100 and, yeah 105 if i bring my samsung guys and then i fly but samsung is much more expensive than this device so what it means is your internet speed on this phone will not be as bad as it could be you know for 125 129 dollar phone you know you expect the internet to be sheer rubbish but to be honest it will serve you and it's gonna you're not gonna complain so this is why they have the um infrared here you know there's something here called me remote so i'm not gonna i'm not interested in that so it's like you can have a remote have a tv this has been on samsung for a very long time you know samsung galaxy s7 yeah s7 s7 can we excel yeah i think yeah so this was a samsung so people it's still it's still all right it's still all right if, if people want to use it it's still all right so what i'm gonna be doing next guys um i'm gonna run the antutu on this phone then let's see what we're gonna be getting for antutu score this is not a mediatek processor this is snapdragon processor snapdragon 632 you know 8 core cpu you know 3 gig ram 32 gig ram not bad what 3 gig ram can do on 8 core cpu snapdragon 632 let's see so i'm gonna run down to two now and see what we're gonna be getting in numbers it doesn't bother me you know the num if it scores 100,000 score it doesn't bother me to be honest but i prefer to test the phone myself you know that's my own way of delivering quality review not the numbers which people have put and out was i think somebody informed me that Antutu was hacked a long time ago and people can just change number with their device so that you guys are gonna buy it. no i don't do that i test the phone myself and i'll tell you the truth if this phone is good or not you know one thing i said i don't like about this xiaomi phone now i'm installing this device right uh, sorry now i'm installing this um app you watch what's gonna happen let me finish installing it's now it's gonna say scanning look what he's saying here after install did you see that it's scanning like it's giving me an advert of fiverr to download fiverr i don't like that they need to stop this you know show me themselves need to stop this so for me i'm just gonna fast forward this place then i come back to you with this cause you know so I'm just gonna let's 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 do that now. All right, guys. Um, the phone is finished now. You can see it's called um, hundred and three thousand one hundred seventy-four. You know that's not bad for the scores. If you want to base it on scores. It's not bad at all and um to be honest that i don't know how that will affect my usage but for me i think the phone is still all right i'm still testing this device so i'm not sure if this device will live up to the task as time goes on maybe it's going to get slow along the line you no know, i don't know but for me the first impression so far is this device is all right and for the price I cannot complain, you know. I don't know what else I'm gonna say for the price. Uh, let me see the YouTube sound quality. Let's see what we're gonna be getting for YouTube sound quality. Let's have the sound quality. You know, I already told you the sound is not dual stereo. This is single. You can see it's mono. This is your speaker. If you're wondering which one is the speaker, this is the speaker and this is just a dummy and this does nothing too you know the speaker at the top is nothing but is it loud i think yes you know let me bring it to my microphone for me i think it's loud enough to be honest in case you're wondering how a 4k video we play on a 720p phone this is a sample for you remember this screen only support up to 720p and this is a 4k video i'm playing you can see 
Um, I don't know what you might be thinking, but for me, I don't think anything goes wrong here. You know, it's sharp, it's clear. And then, because it's a 720p doesn't mean it's the bad front. I think I'll be happy with this. In my own opinion, I think I will be very happy with this kind of screen on my phone. You know, so that's it, guys. So the next thing I'm going to be jumping into is the camera of this device. You know, I want to jump straight into the camera. I want to see what a 12 megapixel camera and a 2 megapixel camera can do for us. That's one. And I want to see the camera quality. I'm not going to go into the, f uh, the video footage because um, I don't want to film with the phone now. I'm going to have a separate camera review for this device. So I'm not going to go into the footage of the um, video for camera. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to jump straight into the camera. Let's see what we're going to be getting for uh, camera quality. Let's see. Okay, this is the camera interface of this phone. I don't know if the, can you pick it? Yeah. All right, this is the camera interface of this device. As you can see, I'll start from here. You have a short video, maybe just a five, six, seven minutes video. You have your video, you have your photos, portrait, you know, to blur the background and square and the pro, the pro if you want to increase your ISO. On the settings here, you just have your settings and timer um save location camera sound pocket mode save previous mode hard time stamp on photos oh i like that add photo watermark show grid focus and shoot scan qr code whoa this device feels like a premium phone i'm sure because of the software on the software side is better than all the chinese devices have been revealed so far because most of them are not because most of them don't have detailed camera settings like this. To be honest, I'm not saying they are better than this, but I'm talking about the software. On the software, they, they are, this budget device is better than all of them put together because their camera settings are not too detailed. All you just get is just about four or five options, you know, for the camera settings. So this is everything you're gonna be getting in the camera settings. So um, the timer, nah, I don't, I don't want the timer. So I'm not into pro. Let's go to photo. And for the photo, it's different options you get. You get settings, timer, tilt, straightens, group selfie, beauty, and Google Lens. So this has a Google Lens built in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm just seeing that for the first time, and I'm just trying it out. It's got Google Lens built in, so you can use this to search for something like test similar products. So let's see similar product. So what Google Lens can do for you. So that's it. So tap the dot. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, it's finding a snake or something. This is not it. Okay, let me move it further, further back. Try and Google Lens on this. Not if found. Let's see. Not if found. Let's go. Let's use the eye. Yeah, you got it. You can see dinosaur. This is my little boy's dinosaur toy. And it, with Google Lens built into the phone, you can see shows dinosaur. So, with you know, because of the camera position, and because how you guys see what I'm saying, that's why. I was a little bit too close, a little bit too far, you know. I just used the the hand and the, 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 the mouth and I got dinosaur. So I believe it's very accurate if I'm not on camera, you know, because then I will have all the pictures of the dinosaur. You know, let me use this this one. Yeah, yeah, dinosaur again. So it's still the same thing is giving me dinosaur. So that's it. Wow. So that's just the first impression on the camera. I like that Google Lens thing. You know, and uh, is this says AI? Maybe this have AI camera. We don't know. Maybe it's got AI now. I'm not really sure about it, but we're gonna find out everything later. I know this video is taking too long and it's getting impressive to me because I didn't plan to do this video that long, but because I'm seeing new things and on a cheap device, you know, these are the things I want to do. I want to bring out that good features out of nothing. You know, that thing that you don't have to spend too much money 
to enjoy a good device you know that's why i'm doing these reviews um okay let me take a picture and see whoa oh this is super super cool you know i can see everything to detail i'm gonna put this on the screen and then let me let me go this way let me go this way i like the sound too just click i don't like that horrible sound i normally get from those ones this is super super cool i like the picture sample taken on this so wow so these are good pictures i've been taking so far this is cool man oh look at these pictures now look at these micro pictures look at these same pictures i know the day is very bright you know we have a good bright sunlight day but if you have a bad camera it's gonna expose it here too you can see for the camera i don't think you can go wrong for the camera to be honest i don't think you can go wrong look at all these pictures i'm showing on the screen this phone is surprising me and i get a big shock today because to be honest with you i'm not expecting nothing from this phone based on the father is a budget phone this is a budget king and i'm going to call this my budget king ever you know this unless somebody's going to show me another device that can beat this phone in everything you know so guys that is the end of the video i know the video is a little bit long i didn't plan to make this video long because i didn't think i would get much from this phone but to my surprise i was put to shame i was shocked you know i'm not pressing this device that you have to buy it if you don't want to you don't you don't have to you don't have to buy it you know i'm only reviewing the phone based on what the phone can do not based on what somebody told me to say or this i spent my own hard earned money just like you i'm not getting this phone for free i paid for this device so it's not free so i don't have no reason to praise the phone if you understand what i'm saying if this phone is good i will tell you it's good if this phone is bad i will tell you it's bad i've reviewed loads of phone on my youtube channel and i've told this phone is rubbish don't buy this phone yes i would say don't buy it because i've bought it and i regret buying it i don't want you to have a regret buying the phone but this phone right here show me redmi 7 for the price of 120 dollars you cannot go wrong with this phone so this is my budget king thank you guys for watching my video and i will see you when i make a new video bye God bless.